good morning. It's another late start. It's nearly 20 to 11. But I've been trying to wait for the worst of the kind of rain to pass over. It's still supposed to be uh, raining on half today and it's fairly breezy down here. It's going to be very breezy up on the tops. Got most day looking moody in the cloud. Um, so yeah, yesterday was a complete washout. Tomorrow's due to be a complete washout, so I'm going to try and make the most of today. I think I'm going to get wet, but uh, certainly going to get wet legs and feet if nothing else. So I'm going to do the squeeze today. So what's that there? So I'm going to go along the bottom and uh, up, up the far end, and then back along the top. So unless it uh, unless it clears. I'm going to be up in the cloud, which is quite nice, although I think I'm going to get wind blasted. Um, so yeah, we'll see, I've done the... I think I've videoed the screes twice now, but hey, you'll see it in another, another light. So yeah, the second week's a bit of a washout overall, but I'm not going to complain. I had a good week last week in terms of the weather. I said tomorrow's due to be a complete one wash out, heavy rain all day. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, um, it just says sun and showers, which could mean anything really. It could be mostly rain with a couple of showers, it could be... Uh, mostly rain. Yeah. <laughs> mostly rain with a little bit of sun, it could be a fair bit of sun with a few showers. We'll just have to wait and see. I haven't looked at the wind forecast for that one yet, but we'll see. And then Friday it's back down south, so... <sighs> Try and make the most of it. Well, what difference a few days of heavy rain makes. Uh, just got left uh, what's the lead. This was uh, almost dry the other day. And the main river was still underground. So it'll be interesting to see how that one goes. I could be wading and have very wet feet. Right at the start. <laughs> we shall see. And my left foot's pretty wet already anyway, but... Uh, let's, uh, let's see if it's come up or not. It has put a heck of a lot down this last few days, so... We'll soon find out. I love this little bit. And this year up here the foxgloves have been amazing. I would say they're escapees from gardens, but they're doing incredibly well. And another bit, look at this. Try and keep it so it only gets as deep as the grips of the trainers. Uh, yeah, I've risked a long sleeve top today. It could get a little bit warm, but oh my word. <laughs> um, could get a little bit warm, but I thought if I have got caggy on and uh, I'm, uh, get wet, I prefer to be warm and wet than shivery and wet. Ah, oh, just gonna have to go for it. I'm guessing the river's gonna be up anyway. Ah. Oh. Soggy feet for the whole run. Yeah, but it sounds like the river is up. So bear in mind, about two or three days ago, this was bare stone because the water wasn't flowing enough for the river to get above the rocks. It disappears underneath about 500 yards that way. And here we go. today. A little break is out there. I think I'm going to be in the wind all the way along the bottom of the screes. If you uh, ever watched or go and watch my uh, little jaunt up Kirkfell and Great Gable that I did last week, um, the lake was as smooth as glass. There wasn't a breath there. Looks phenomenal. A little bit different today. A 
Blimey. Bit of sunshine on Kirkville. Bit of blue sky over on the coast as well. Well, I was right about having wet legs and shoes from the uh, bracken. Absolutely forcing my way through it. The gin and my legs are alright with bracken, thank goodness. If this was uh, grass, I'd have to be on an antihistamine and a healthy sand by now. My legs would be itching like an itchy thing. The downside of the bracken, it does grab hold of the bottom of the poles, makes it very difficult to use them. Oh. Clear a bit for a minute. Quite right, well. Onto the rock now, which is good. If you can see the little foam lines the wind's causing on the lake. Nice view of uh, Yubara. I wanted to do that this holiday, but I don't think I'm going to get the chance. But it's good. Yeah. The rock's not slippery here at the moment anyway, so that's good. There's definitely a bit of fresh scree on here though. You can always tell because it's a, a different colour. It's redder. Ooh, a little uphill. Look at the ferns. Aren't they gorgeous? And these old oak trees covered in moss it's looking right up the hill at them bear in mind how small they are they're probably ancient because obviously it takes so it's not exactly the longest growing season on here Little fern forest. <laughs> Quite a few people driving up the drive up towards the lead. I do love this run. It's got kind of a bit of everything. It's got a decent bit of scrambly stuff like this, and obviously there's the really big rocks and the big boulder field to come. You've got a nice little kind of mostly grassy up. The other end, and then a load of along at the top again, all grass, but you've already got quite a bit of altitude, and you don't lose a lot as you're going along. So, if the cloud is up, there's lots of views for a long way, whoa, which is great. I love this sound change. Listen to it. Higher pitch on the smaller gravel. There you go on the bigger stuff. And the sound deepens. <laughs> Creating my own little symphony as I go along. One downside I think for my feet with these Walsh trainers though, is they are quite narrow. And uh, on the, this bit here, inside of my instep, you can see the grip goes quite far, the cell goes quite far in. I've had a couple of rocks right into my instep, which has now bruised my instep. So it goes now, any little rock that hits that is now incredibly painful. So that was a little... Um, Little scramble a bit, nothing complicated, but bearing in mind there, it's all a little bit wet and damp, they're a bit slippery. So I was taking my time on that while I was chatting.
Yep, yeah, there's definitely been some uh, new rock falls. Because look, this is, you can tell, this is the old stuff, look. And then that's the new. See, it's all angular and the grey and red and fresh rather than of the grey and weather beaten. So there's definitely been a bit of fresh stuff. I wouldn't want to be here while some of that's coming down. <laughs> that would make me speed up a bit, that's for sure. <laughs> now if it was uh, drier, a little bit quicker than this, but no point taking a risk when it's uh, slippery. Oh, coming up to the uh, the big flat boulder, of course, it's obligatory to have a sit and a ponder on that. Usually, have a wee snack out of some description. Ooh. A little bit off balance there for a minute. Look at this brute. Imagine that coming down from up there. <laughs> if there's a very loud crack above me and the uh, camera gets dropped and hear me squealing is because I've dropped the camera and I'm running like heck. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Oh. Ta-da! There's some outward bound stuff going on over there. I can see some uh, life preservers. So that's where we've come from. What's the lead? Uh, it's just gone an hour, that's just over four miles. So, a bit slower than normal, but I'll be taking it easy. Gorgeous. It is a little bit breezy. So, I'm not going to stop and eat here actually. I'll probably eat at the pump house. Far under Wasdale, well, far under Waswater. And uh, up to the pump house. Uh, that was one hour 16. So, yeah, about 15 minutes slower than kind of normal, but uh, a bit more slippery. Taking my time, obviously, a bit of chatting to the camera as well, which obviously slows me down a smidge. So, now it's a little trot along here, and then we turn left and then go up this uh, far end of the screes. can never remember which way around the tops are. One's Windrig, one's Ilgill. I think this end is Windrig and the other end Ilgill, but don't quote me on that, I've got to go it the wrong way around. Look at that. Beautiful. So yeah, I'll just trot along here. Uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna have a little sit down have a little sit down on this rock and have something to eat before I do the ascent. Why not? <sighs> They're the worst views. Well, we're about halfway up. The sun's out a little bit at this end. Still dark that end though. But sun's over the sea, sunshine on Sellafield. Well, I hope it's the sunshine, it's not just glowing. See, about halfway up, I always tell you about halfway up this bit because you get to this cairn here, which is just on the edge of the bracken. That lets me know I'm nearly halfway. Well, I am halfway. And it looks like that's where I'm going. It looks like the cloud has lifted, at least on the screes. So 
knocking them in the cloud. So for the view, it's great. However, I don't mind being in the cloud. The cloud's very peaceful, as long as you know where you're going. Very otherworldly. But very nice. A little bit hazy, I can't see... Uh, I can't see the Isle of Man or uh, Scotland. You can sometimes see Scotland. Not for this one, a bit hazy. Beautiful. So I'm going up there and then up there. But that climb got the old forehead leaking a little bit. top of the first top. The views are great. There's nobody about. The skylarks are up. I'm a happy boy today. Stunning. I'm probably not far below the cloud line. <laughs> kind of looking along the bottom of it. There we go, that's where we're heading. Look at all that grass, glorious. Nearly at the second top, look at that view. The cloud is literally just, just touching the top cairn of uh, Yubarrow. You could probably stand on the top and your feet would be out of the cloud and your head would be in the cloud. <laughs> but I am cloud free, look. So here we are at the top. There's what's to let down there. So I can just see the pub down the bottom. So I'll be down there in about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. It's a nice quick descent. Not going to hang about, it's actually quite nippy up here with that wind. So. Not going to hang about, which is a shame. It's, I always like sitting on here and kind of watching Bostel Head, but uh, a little bit too nippy today. So, well, that's the main descent done. All the grassy bit, just going to get down this track. Track now to the bottom. Love that little bridge. I call it the Hobbit Bridge. It's brilliant. Fun. <laughs> I couldn't think of any more, otherwise I'd have kept going. So I nearly at the pub, I can feel a nice cup of coffee coming on, and maybe even a half a cider. Tut tut tut. That's a little bit of water, and here we are. Anyway, here we are, back up on the bed. That's what I've just done. What a lovely run. Absolutely wet through, of course. <laughs> yeah, lovely run. <laughs> 